Mmm, yummy. Eva. Eva, can daddy have some? Eva. Eva. Eva, can daddy have some? <laughs> no? Okay. You go run over there. You run over there? You go play over there? And I have something she'll, she'll want it, right? And she'll come begging for it. But when, after I give it to Ava and I ask for it, she kind of runs away like this. Ava, can I have some? Ava, can I have some? No? You share with daddy? Ava, she likes hanging out with the nannies in the morning. The nannies, they will uh, uh, wake up and they'll do the uh, house chores. And they will uh, start doing the cooking and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I figured this would be kind of a different vlog, guys. What happened? Okay. Oh. You took a map. No, not that, Jack. Young Tud. Cup here and then Hoi Bi the Kong. Ava, you're too good map map. You're too fat, Ava. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> I mean, it's also nice that uh, we have them watching Ava because I'm usually busy and Mai's usually busy. But uh, going back to this video, guys, I figured uh, I'd make more of a kind of personal and kind of insight an insight into my life here in Cambodia. Uh, maybe talk about some of the expenses that we have to uh, we have to pay each month and how much it costs to live this life here in Cambodia versus what it would be like in the U.S. and um, why maybe sometimes it's better to start a family and uh, start a life somewhere else rather than your your home country. Now. I think a lot of people, they kind of are programmed growing up is kind of, um, and maybe it's changed now, but they kind of live and work and stay in your country. And um, it's kind of encouraged, right? But if you can, you know, sometimes your home country isn't the country you should be growing up in or starting a life in. And especially with nowadays with the technology and transportation it's easy to kind of go around to a different country and begin a whole new life I know tons of people here in Cambodia who I don't think uh, intend on leaving now everyone's circumstances are different and you guys know now if you're familiar with this channel that I will be leaving I'll be going back to the US for a bit at the end of this year um, but I'll still be filming but it's just something that needs to be done um, and it won't be permanent um, we, we still have property here we have family here so, you know, they'll always be Cambodia. But um, yeah, anyways, you guys clicked on the video, not for that, but maybe to kind of understand how much it costs to have a family here in Cambodia. And um, what are some of the things that uh, we have to spend each month on and um, how we can afford two nannies. Um, because, you know, in the US, I definitely couldn't afford even one nanny. Mm. That's kind of a uh, privilege for the upper class, right? Or the, yeah, it would cost, I don't know. What, what would you guys think would cost? It costs for a, a nanny to live and work uh, with, at your house. Uh, I'm guessing like it would at least be like two grand a month, right? Plus, plus uh, room and board and yeah. So the two nannies that are here, they do live with us and um, they live with us and they do the cleaning, the cooking, they watch Ava. I think that's the main, the main reason why we uh, have them helping out is uh, watching Ava. Um, so we had one nanny and then we had to get one more because uh, she, the, the nanny that we had, she was doing too much. She was watching Ava, she was in the cooking, the cleaning, laundry. Uh, we had her going and cleaning the uh, condo that we're renting out right now so she would be doing that and it was just too much for her and even though we pay her um, above what the above what normally a hold on what a nanny would be getting paid um, still it's just too much so we have this girl this new girl helping out as well um, but yeah 
anyways, I'm going to um, finish my coffee, guys, and then we're gonna talk more about that. Maybe take Ava out somewhere for a second and show you what uh, what you can do with a with a uh, ten months old here in Phnom Penh um, because there's, it's limited, but there's a few things. So, all right, here we go. Yeah, you can say hi to everyone, Ava. Let's see. Ava likes looking at. What's this, Ava, huh? Is that daddy's 100K plug? Yep. Ava, she's, uh, she's hungry, so. In the morning, she gets hungry, and then she gets fussy. Mm hmm But then we make the milky for her. What, Ava? Right there. Ava, she doesn't, she's not as friendly with the, uh, the first, the new maid. It's her way. You want the milky Eva? Hi, milky Eva. I might want to drink milk, Papa. Huh? Eva. You say please. Oh, she's not. She's not gonna say please. Let's go. You enjoy your milky Eva? Bye bye. Good night, Emma. <laughs> Good night, Emma. 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 All right, guys. This uh, spare tire is kind of flat too, but I'm gonna go take it to the uh, the mechanic now. Have them uh, fix the bike, the wheel, the tire. But uh, I know what the problem is. I when I took the tire off. It was a, uh, a screw wedged in. So maybe one of my uh, my haters on YouTube did it to me. You know, we got haters everywhere, guys. Anyways, I'm not sure exactly which mechanic uh, we're going to to go to. So, <laughs> my lovely wife, Mai, is uh, leading the way. That's another nice thing, guys, in Cambodia that you might not have uh, in the US or in Europe or these kind of Western countries is women who are all uh, self-sufficient and can uh, ride a bike and uh, lead their husband to where to change the car tire how many of your wives can do that guys huh to the uh, the topic of the day this talk talk de jour is uh, how much it cost living and raising a family here in Cambodia and uh, I already discussed how much it cost to have a child here and that was in the video uh, about Ava's birth but um, but like for example, salary and food and everything. Okay, here we are. Hold on, guys, one second. All right. Let's see. Uh, 
กองนั่งนขอไอ้ปู่ชมโดฮายอ่ะเนี่ยกองสกัวเดี๋ยวเดสเดนี่บอกนี่ร้านนี้ปลองอายไปแบบนี่ครับลองกินมาวิ่งอ๋อนี่ทองร้านมีนะมีนะเคยจังอันนี้อันนี้สกูสกูโอเคจังเดียวสกูไปหนักออกมาเนี่ยนะนี่นี่นี่ฉันเอาตัวเลขมาสองแล้วฉันเอาตัวเลขมาสองแล้วฉันเอาตัวเลขมาสองแล้วฉันเอาตัวเลขมาสองแล้วฉันเอาตัวเลขมาสองแล้ว500 so 500 for both of them. One of them gets paid a little bit more because they've been with us longer. But uh, you might think that that's cheap, but we—it's actually a, it's a, an average pay here for a nanny. Yeah, because we plus, pay for their living too. Plus, right, they live with us. Uh, all the food is free, living is free. Uh, so that's just money that goes to them. Uh, anything they want, uh, we get for them. So. That's what you would expect to pay uh, for two nannies here uh, to help us watch Ava, and um, so with extra money like that, you can save to pay for things like this, which also will be a lot cheaper here in Cambodia. Um, not because of the the tire itself, but because of the uh, the work, right? Because in America, mo most of the, the highest pay you're paying is the uh, the like. The labor, right? The cost for them to work, right? Um, but yeah. So you know, that's a couple of things that you will see that will have a benefit here in Cambodia, um, raising a family here. Now, for the uh, medical expenses and stuff like that, you're gonna have to pay out of pocket unless you have some type of travel insurance, family insurance. Oh crap! That's right. I forgot that he needed the car. Yeah, and then the car is broke. Well, good. Lucky, lucky for him and unlucky for us. Yeah, yo, m a t o m a n i n t e r n So our brother-in-law is uh, coming to get the car today to borrow to go to the countryside. It's like the family car, um, but like I said, to my, it's lucky for him because he doesn't have to be the one sweating and uh, changing the tire. Um, but yeah, maybe he'll come and uh, pick up the car. I'll head back home, guys. I'll take a shower. And then I'll talk maybe some more about uh, yeah raising a family here in Cambodia. My bike. If you guys haven't noticed, I sold my uh, my FTR, so now I'm bikeless. And I did that. I was hoping that I would still have a couple more months of my FTR, but I was kind of trying to sell it so that uh, before I go to the U.S. And uh, good. I guess a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing was I was able to sell it. The bad thing was I was able to sell it really quickly. I think that's the luxury of having a loyal subscriber base.
lunchtime, guys, usually means rice and some type of stir fry. And here's lunch. Don't be fooled though, Mike didn't cook it. Of course. If Mike cooks it, it tastes a lot better. <laughs> um, so yeah, I get some, looks like chicken. Chicken with uh, water grass? Lemongrass, yeah. Chicken with lemongrass. This is a leftover uh, omelet with fish. And that's... Uh, fermented fish? Yeah, omelet with fermented fish, and then under it, actually, is this thing, which is like egg and pork, I think it's like, we call it uh, Egg, pork type of man. Yeah, egg, pork, and uh, fermented fish. We call it uh. So, it's not two pot. types. It's different. Oh, anyways. So we have the, the omelet and then we have like the steamed egg one. And then we'll eat these um, these veggies with this. And then my tiny little piece of, little bit of rice. Thank you, my, I guess she wants me to be on diet. She thinks that's all I will eat. Um, but yeah, you gonna eat lunch too? Sundays are more quiet, guys, because my she doesn't really uh, accept clients for her salon on Sunday. So she's actually not even supposed to be doing it, but she she'll accept like, a couple clients on Sunday. So it's usually pretty quiet. But um, you know, I think one of the ways we save the most money here in uh, Cambodia is eating at home. Now, eating out is very cheap still in Cambodia, a lot cheaper than the U.S. Um, in the U.S. you go out, you're gonna look at, you're looking at like maybe sixty bucks, a hundred dollars per every time you go out. So usually you're gonna eat at home in the U.S., right? And here in Cambodia, it can be pretty cheap to go eat out. Um, but it's also even cheaper just to eat at home, and the food sometimes tastes even better. And I was joking with uh, my friend one time, explained like, you know, some of my favorite restaurants here in Cambodia aren't even Khmer restaurants. It's just like fast food chains, like. Carl's Jr. Texas Chicken, <laughs> because usually when I'm eating out, I'm usually eating some type of uh, Western food. Because if I'm gonna eat Khmer food, I'm just gonna go eat at home. So, how much do you think we would spend a month on uh, groceries, babe? Um, like for food that we cook at home. Three hundred for groceries a month. Okay, so that would be three hundred dollars. Three hundred, not all night. Yeah. If you ate the bottle, just buy it. Yeah, we we could say two to three hundred dollars um, for groceries a month. So, right there, you can see that we've already spent eight hundred dollars a month. So eight hundred dollars a month, not even a thousand dollars for two nannies for groceries, electricity. How much should we spend a month? So for now, I mean normally it would one would be one fifty. Now be your hand. Why? I don't know. Everyone now complaining about electricity. So you're saying our electricity bill has gone up a hundred dollars? Yeah. Not hmm. just us, everyone. So... fifty this month. Okay, so let's say 200 then. Because usually it's less than that. Usually it was 150. So let's say uh, eight, 500 for the nannies, uh, 300 for the groceries, 200 for electricity. So that's a thousand dollars right there, um, and then uh, for this house we rent this house at uh, eight hundred. So it's a thousand eight hundred. Um, so give or take, guys, we're spending about a thousand eight hundred. Let's say two thousand dollars, okay? And six hundred each month for your night out. Oh please! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're saying I spent six hundred dollars going yes, out? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh really? I mean go out, go to Mart, you can go calculate in the uh, transaction in the bank. Yes, yeah, so that's for my too though. No, oh, for really? mine is different. Oh really? <laughs> Something else. Oh yeah. Well that's just BS guys. I, I'm not, maybe uh, $600 for like uh, snacks and other stuff at the Mart. Uh, yes, I'm not even kidding. Like milk, coffee, uh, stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, but my, if you're saying I'm, I'm spending $600 a month going out at night, that is complete BS. Fake news. <laughs> Trust me, do you think Mike would let me go out that much, guys? Yeah, right. So, let's say 2000 Let's say 
all together we're spending about six thousand or six thousand let's say all together we're spending about three thousand dollars a month close to three thousand four thousand lies again all, the one who hold everything why would i lie um so that includes let's say three thousand for um for rent for salaries for electricity for food for ava stuff uh, all no, no, you didn't include Ava stuff yet. Oh yeah. 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 Anyways, guys, back to that. I was just talking to Mike about the uh, actual expenses. So we're we're spending about say three thousand five hundred to four thousand a month, um, give or take on everything that includes food, rent, salaries, baby stuff, going out. Um, and so if you think about that, if you calculate that, that's still pretty cheap. If you're thinking about um, a family of three plus two employees um, yeah so you know that much versus I don't know comment down below on what you guys think your your monthly expenditure is in America um, and if you have a family of three or four that'd be even better so yeah let me know how much you guys are spending or give or take how much you're spending a month in the US and maybe compare it but I would say that you know, being here in Cambodia, um, sometimes things can be cheap, sometimes things can't be, uh, might not be as cheap, but um, I think we at least have the luxury of being able to afford um, paying people to come and help us. And um, when when wanting to, we can kind of live very cheap, like for, with like food like this. Oh yeah, what else am I? I was like, and that doesn't count uh, all the times. Uh, I mean, you can count whatever, but I'm the boss who also make it to be able to spend. Is that clear? That makes no sense. <laughs> My, she's, uh, so whenever I'm spending something, like uh, if I accidentally uh, buy a pack of M&Ms at the Mart, <laughs> she's going to write it down. But then when yeah. she buys uh, jewelry and clothes and shoes, she says, oh, well, I'm making that money jewelry so I can spend is that. It's also investment. Like, mm. You have to be able to buy it. And you know, in Cambodia, you buy it and you can keep it, sell it later. It's just like, okay, you buy buy it, but also I count it just like, you can sell that for later. Okay, that's it. You mm. better, uh, it's better than buy like, okay, $3,000 bag and then you, you can. This is true. Yeah, um, yeah you shouldn't be buying um, things that are depreciating, depreciating assets like uh, bags and uh, yeah. So obviously, like the jewelry that we buy, um, we can sell back, and uh, who knows? Maybe later on down the road, when we're tight on funds, that's just something that we'll have to do. But um, as of now, I think um, yeah, that's a little insight to our um, expenditures and our life, guys, here in Cambodia. Because I think a lot of you probably are curious with that, um, especially me being 28, 29, and uh, you know, starting out a family here in Cambodia versus starting out a family in the U.S. And maybe this will give you some uh, maybe understanding of how much you need to make um, and how much you might need to spend. And by all means, guys, we are not living a like uh, a a um, I guess cheap lifestyle. You could live a lot cheaper than this. You could cut this. You could cut that. Yeah, you could cut that. Like, yeah, you probably. could cut that four thousand five hundred, five thousand dollars a month hat in half. Um, like without a uh, nanny. Yeah. Without uh, Without the nannies partner. and stuff. Yeah. I mean, if just by yourself. Yeah. You well, no, no. Of course, by yourself. This is this video is for about a family oh. trying to raise a family. Um, if you're by yourself, you could. Um, if you didn't want to be so luxurious, you could live off like, like a thousand dollars a month here in Cambodia. Um, but anyways, okay. I'm gonna eat my lunch now, guys, and then uh, figure out what the rest of the day we're gonna do. Have any plans, my mai? Yes. What? I will have to go out. I don't know. Just need to go out. Where? Me or Ava. Oh, well. You can take out Ava. I took Ava to Play Cafe yesterday. But um, I didn't okay. film any of that. It's kind of like a nice cafe. If I have any videos. I might have a video of uh, Ava there. Maybe Mike has a video of Ava at Play Cafe. So I'll put yeah. that video right Another here. Another thing is uh, about young people. Like spend less. Don't go out. Yeah. 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 Not Yeah, that's why I'm always at at home. Really? Yeah, because every time you out, 
than the alloy, right? Yeah. But uh, I could show you guys proof of like messages of my constantly messaging me like, I want to go here tonight. <laughs> I want to go there tonight. So usually when we're going out to eat, it's not even my uh, idea. It's yeah, my because idea. maybe I make extra money, like tip. Yeah, my she's that like my she's like she's like my pimp. You know, she pimp. She I'm her little. Uh, I'm her. Um, <laughs> what do you call that? Um, what's like the yeah? I'm like her, the her number one hoe, and she's the pimp. <laughs> And she just pimps what me does around. What does it mean, the pimp? Pimp is like the person who uh, owns the hoes. Really? And he's the one who makes all the... They, they're the ones who make all the commission, the money, you know? I'm just the one who look cool and... <laughs> if you guys want um, to support this channel, just meet me at Wat Phnom at 11 o'clock at night. You'll see me there. <laughs> um, so that's a good way to uh, support the channel. Also, if you don't want to meet me at Wat Phnom, you can always just uh, buy me a coffee or a beer. Um, I set up a uh, Kofi website thing right here, and um, yeah, whenever you do, I'll send you a private message. I always give out the shout outs to all the guys and girls and whoever is uh, donating um, to our channel. But yeah, I appreciate that, guys. Hopefully, this video was a little it was a little different, but I think it was something kind of needed. And um, yeah, okay, till next one. Bye bye.